welcome back my youtube family i'm rashid and today we are going to start a brand new series where i will bring you quick and powerful excel tips and tricks to take your data analysis skills to the next level today i want to show you how to supercharge your data analysis using by power pivot tables if you have been using simple pivot tables until now you are in for a treat we have some exciting features that will make your data analysis faster more flexible and incredibly powerful so first of all let me discuss why we should this special pivot tables number one speed and efficiency power pivot table handles massive data set with ease much faster than the traditional pivot tables it can process millions of rows in the blink of an eye saving your precious time flexibility unlike simple pivot tables with power pivot you can add multiple data sources and create complex relationship between them that's mean you can connect more than one tables and you can apply the complex calculations on that model number 3 dax formulas dax allows you to create a custom calculations and measures these formulas are incredibly powerful enabling you to perform advanced calculations that were not possible before number 4 no limitations with power pivot you can go beyond the row limitations of traditional pivot tables if i talk about the simple excel sheet you can add data maximum for 1 million rows but in power pivot you can go beyond this i have taken data from one of my master class on data analysis and reporting from fmcg you can find the link to that class in the card on the upper right side so now first of all i am going to copy this data control n you need to press control alt v from your keyboard this dialog box will pop up you need to select value okay so now i'm selecting this column control 1 from my keyboard this dialog box will pop up and i'm going to date from here i'm selecting this one or you can select this one now i'm going to convert my this data into table control t make sure this option must be checked my table has headers okay i'm going to give the name sales data i'm copying it and i'm going to table design and from here table 1 to sales data so now i'm going to power pivot and i will upload this data to model if this power pivot option is not visible in your excel you need to follow me file options add-ins from here you need to select this com add ins go and here microsoft power pivot for excel i already enable this option your option will be unchecked and you need to check this option and then you need to press okay and this option will be visible in your excel so my data is uploaded to the environment of power pivot so now i'm going to make some dax calculations so my first dax calculation is retail underscore sales sum so i want to sum this retail portion and i want the sum of my whole sales sum and uh, this one so this is my whole sale and i want the total sales so i um, i will be selecting this one plus this so this is my total sales now i'm selecting all of these and uh, i'm going to format it comma format and from here i will make their one decimal so now i'm going to this pivot table and i will be inserting my this pivot table so to insert and okay so here i will be creating one report of power pivot so i'm going to my this sales section and here i will be adding my days i want format uh, equal to text not format text selecting this one and i want the days from here so it will return me the days number of days i'm returning back to report going to my data and refresh all 
when i will refresh from here it will refresh all the data in this workbook so uh, now you can see this day column from here and i'm selecting this one to rows and i want to show my retail sales in values my whole sales and my total sales on first day of the month i go to 85 on second day i go to 82 uh, this is my retail sale this is my wholesale and this is my total sale now i'm going to select this one again my total sales and i will be clicking on it value field setting going to show value as and uh, i'm going to give it the name sales country contribution basically this is my sales contribution and i will be selecting this number percentage of grand total so basically it is giving me the percentage of each day for example if i talk about first day the sale of the first day is 285 and 285 is the 2.7 percent of this total sales 1052.3 so again i'm selecting this one and this will be my running total so i'm going to show value as and from here i will be selecting my this running total in okay you can say this is the accumulation of the sale it is adding the sale day by day again i'm selecting this one and i will be clicking value field setting and from here show value as so here i will be now calculating the uh, growth or the decline with reference to the previous day so uh, i need to select uh, difference percentage difference percentage difference from previous so i'm selecting this previous okay so this is showing me on third day i got 17 percent growth with reference to the previous day giving me the growth or decline day by day comparing with the previous day so this is my growth or decline more i can add the slicers here slicer region territory and brand so i will be selecting is going to slicer and make it to make it to now i'm going to design and i will be selecting uh, this one and i will be selecting my slicers and i will align the color of this with the color of my pivot table so uh, more i can apply the conditional formatting here so i will be selecting uh, this one and i'm going to visit this home and from here i will be selecting this data labels i can apply here if my value is less than zero so this must be red because these are the declines values and if the value is uh, greater than zero so it must be green so my green values are in growth comparing with the previous days and my red values are in decline comparing with the previous day and i'm going to view and from here i will uncheck this grid line so uh, my this report is ready and uh, the main purpose of this was you need to use these special power pivot tables these are more reliable these are more efficient and these are and these pivot tables can process more data as compared to the traditional pivot tables say goodbye to simple pivot tables and embrace the power of power pivot for your data analysis needs if you found this tip helpful don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notified for more two minutes every friday episodes and also check out the link to my master class on data analysis and reporting for fmcg in the card on the upper right side and you can download this excel file from that original master class thank you so much for watching and until next time excel like a pro